Okay. I'm going to start right from the top because you've got this lion card of here, which says that you might have been dealing with um, some very difficult news that came in, some very shocking news that came in, or you might be dealing with a very difficult person that's giving you a lot of problems. And uh, that's really crowning the reading. So some luck is coming in for you. You've got the clove coming in, so there is a change of luck. So you're getting out of that difficult situation and you're going to moving, be moving into something much more positive, some happiness to follow there. And this is going to be answers, and you're going to get a lot of answers to problems or solutions to problems that you are dealing with. There's the key card over here. <coughs> so whatever this luck is that comes in is going to change things around. <coughs> Now, in the past, you've got this um, shepherd card over here, so you've been taking control of that situation. You've been in a very, very, mu very much a leadership position, taking charge of people and, um, you know, sorting things out. You've got this uh, star card over here, so there's a lot of recognition, fame, success that has come your way. So somehow your reputation has been uh, improved, maybe a lot of people hearing about you. Um, it seems like a lot of people, a lot of fame coming your, has come your way, it seems. Now going into the future, there's that letter coming in over there, so some good news coming in. And since it's followed by that luck card over there, it looks like it's going to be uh, happy news that comes in for you. Now um, you've got the fame card over here, so success and fame as well coming in over here. Uh, you know, a lot of recognition coming in over here. So it looks like there's two cards over here. You've got that star card over here, and this is about international success and fame. And you've got this uh, moon card over here. It's about a lot of people knowing about you or learning about you or you become becoming famous in some kind of way uh, and it's good for him because you've got that luck uh, card preceding all of these so those are the uh, energies for those two weeks now i'm using the law of attraction tarot for this particular read i have shuffled the deck let's have a look Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, there's victory here. So you've got the Nine of Cups over there, and you can see all of these people holding up this really golden cup. So something that you have been uh, wanting for a long time is now coming into fruition. You can see the clouds are parting and the sun is coming out over here. So you're going to get... Uh, something really good happening to you or uh, something that you've been hoping to happen for a long time, maybe praying about it, that is going to be coming uh, into your hands. So a lot of success coming to you and it seems like you know, you've been working with a lot of people and you know this is going to pay off. Whatever you've invested uh, in is going to be paying off. So you've been through a lot of difficulties with these clouds but it looks like there is a sure victory. Uh, in whatever situation you're dealing with. And you can see that in this card over here. It seems finally there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now it looks like with the Seven of Swords you've been going through a very, very nasty situation. Maybe there have been a lot of lies, deception, deceit uh, that you've been dealing with and maybe you were, um, you know, um, taken advantage of as well. But it seems like finally there's that light of the, at, the end of the trouble, at the end of the tunnel. Also, whatever difficulties you've been going on in that work situation, maybe communication difficulties with this Three of Swords that's caused a lot of heartache and problems with you, you are now flying away from it. You are moving away from it. So you are coming out of a difficult situation, and it looks like there's going to be quite a lot of victory as well involved. Uh, you know, you will emerge quite victorious from that particular situation. <coughs> it looks like at the bottom, underneath that, uh, nine of Cups, there's that um, Ace of Pentacles. So there's new money coming in, maybe a new job, but definitely something to do with business or do, uh, something to do with improvement of your finances. And it's quite, you know, it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. Now, in the past uh, year or so, you've been going through a lot of problems. So you've been asking a lot of people for advice and trying to, uh, you know, use whatever input they've been giving you to sort out a lot of problems. So you've been blending all whatever everybody's been saying and trying to use that uh, in order to get through this difficult circumstance. And you've been dealing with a very negative energy over here. You've got the devil card over here, feeling very trapped, uh, you know, uh, feeling... Um, 
very taken advantage of, um, very restricted, somebody is bullying you around, or that, you know, they're not listening to you working late hours, uh, you know, you're really trapped by this, this particular job, and you're not having, uh, you, you don't even uh, have the ability to express how you feel because nobody's actually listening. So it's, you've been dealing with, with a very, very toxic situation. You've been asking for some advice, and it looks now, finally, you will be moving away from that very, very toxic situation. You've got the um, High Priestess over here. This is a card that is ruled by um, Pisces, uh, and it's saying that there were a lot of hidden facts and a lot of hidden information. This information is now coming to light. So whatever's been going on is now going to be revealed. Whatever deception, lies, or deceit is now going to be revealed to you. You might also be, you know, you, using your intuition a lot, you know, going by your gut feelings. But also you're being very strategic in how you handle this particular situation. You also might be doing a lot of research, or a lot of study, looking for information or looking for answers to a lot of questions or solutions to your problems as well. Now, you've got that Ten of Swords over here, so an end of a very difficult situation. You can see there's like a tsunami going on, and this uh, boat is emerging. So whatever you went through was very, very life-changing, was a big drama that happened, but you are now coming out of that situation pretty victoriously. And you're letting it go. You're moving away from it. You've got this Empress card over here uh, around you. So this is about, uh, you know, maybe you're studying, maybe you're working pretty hard. You're dealing with a lot of information, but this is the thing that is going to bring in the money. And uh, the Empress is uh, success coming in from all your hard work. So it's going to be a very successful venture and money will be coming in because the Empress is ruled by Venus and Venus is uh, the sign that rules your personal money. Now, you could be getting some kind of legal payoff over here. So this is the Hierophant. In this particular deck, it says uh, the law is harsh, but it is the law. So you are dealing with some kind of legal judgment, and you're waiting for that to come in. And it looks like that's going to be very uh, successful. There might be some kind of payoff that comes in. Maybe this is how the money is coming in. And you will be victorious in it because you've got that Nine of Cups over here. So whatever this legal battle is that you're dealing with, it looks like it's going to go in your favor or whatever official um, you know, decision that's being made is going to be in your favor. It looks like you want to start um, you know, a job maybe uh, as a teacher or somebody who is uh, you know, um, helping other people uh, progress. And this is about uh, giving out information or even maybe you want to take on a, a role as, maybe you want to take on a role as a mentor or maybe you want to get back into study again or go back into learning. That is your card, the King of Cups. So going into the future, and I think because of this King of Cups, so you're planning on doing some further education or study, you've also got that High Priestess over there, which is also about knowledge, teaching, learning, uh, research, that kind of thing. So going into the future, it looks like you've been, you know, you'll be working very, very hard at what you're, you're, you're doing. And you know, you're fine-tuning your work. It's very intricate work, and you'll be very, very focused on, on that particular task. So investing a lot of time and effort into your work, and you'll be very, very, um, you know, that job is going to take up a lot of your time. So you've got that Ten of Pentacles. It looks like you're ending this old job that you were doing. Maybe, um, I think it went, went like... Oh, it, it did go like that, I think. <laughs> so um, I'm just looking at the order of the cards. So this is the ending of an old um, financial difficult cycle and starting something brand new. So you're going to be working pretty hard at that job that you're doing. Uh, you've ended an old cycle, maybe an ending an old job, starting something brand new. And this is going to be something that brings in a lot of uh, luck, a lot of happiness. And like I said, there might be a payoff as well. So whatever this decision is, it looks like you're going to get some kind of payoff as well. But whatever position you take in, uh, in the the end is going to be something of leadership. You can see this person's orchestrating. This is the Three of Pentacles. You're going to be working pretty hard, pretty you know, collaborating with a lot of people, but you're going to be the one that's in charge. So even though you're going to have to put in a lot of effort, and with the Seven of Rods, it's about defending all your beliefs, maybe doing something very different uh, from the norm, but uh, also very intricate work, and stand up for yourself, have a lot of confidence. It looks like there is going to be some kind of payoff. You've got that fortune cookie over here, so it looks like the Wheel of Fortune or Wheel of Fate is working your favor, and it looks like it's going to bring in a lot of money and a lot of victory for you, and you're going to finally be in some kind of uh, leadership position where you are in charge and controlling all of it. So it looks like you're ending very, very difficult situations with this 10 of um, um, swords um, ending off a very, very, uh, dis, uh, you know, 
a very upsetting situation and also moving away from a very upsetting situation with that uh, three of swords and finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and also with this um, nine of cups you know a victory so whatever that legal decision is or whatever that decision is it looks like there's going to be some kind of payoff as well and uh, but you're also going to be it's going to go in your favor so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um very tarot and the first one is the world which says a brilliant success so whatever you're going to to uh go through now it's going to be very successful the freedom to go in any direction a journey is now complete so you have now finished that cycle it might have been a karmic cycle but you have come through the end of your difficulties and now you are in charge and you are uniquely experienced to be able to give to the world and maybe this is the reason why you get, want to get into some kind of mentoring position you've got the queen of summer who says listen to your heart intuitive thoughts you can trust and take care of others um perhaps too much taking care of others perhaps too much so the queen of summer um which is the queen of cups uh you know try not to be very emotional make sure that you you're keeping a little bit of a distance from your emotions but also being on top of things uh you have now taken charge of the situation and you are in control of things and you've got that ace of autumn which is the beginning of a new job a wonderful uh, windfall of money advice or assistance from others a very successful project a happy change in your career so you've got the world card ending a difficult work cycle because the world card is ruled by Saturn and now the ace of autumn comes in which is the beginning of a new work cycle over here so there seems like there is two uh, endings this is also the ten of pentacles uh, and also the ending of an old work cycle but it looks like that ace of autumn is following in it in its footsteps so it looks like uh, a, a brand new job is about to enter your arena or new money coming in some payout coming in for you that makes you quite financially uh, independent with the ace of autumn it's generally about a new job and it's about working your way up to the top so you've ended an old cycle of, of misery and you're now going to be starting something brand new and moving away from all that um and difficulties and it looks like it might be involving uh, a lot of information being a mentor or even going back to school and learning or uh, you know refreshing your uh, information as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye